So I'm here with Patrick Black, executive producer at DICE. What are you most proud of about BF4? It's the most complete Battlefield game we ever built and it, I would argue it's the most balanced and high quality Battlefield game we ever built. So I'm very proud of the fact that we're pulling this together and turning into this great product. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think there's another team in the world that could have done this. The, yeah, having a team that is actually, actually you know, capable of doing this, I think it's, it's magic. Has the netcode been improved for, very much for BF4? Um, in BF3, there's lots of criticism, players dying around corners, behind mm -hmm. cover. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you guys done to improve the netcode in BF4? We've actually done quite a lot to do that. Both teams all together in this one, it doesn't matter like, where you're pushing the time. So I think when people are playing Battlefield 4, comparing it to other Battlefield titles, you know, all Battlefield titles, they will notice that there's a there's a difference in the netcode uh, where it's actually snappier and faster than it's been before. Shin, I think there's there's really nothing that's kind of gone out of tune that you know that doesn't really scream competitive yeah. gaming. So to sum it up for for the teams who are watching this stream. I know a lot of esports teams are watching this stream. So to sum it up, uh, two competitive game modes, an awesome spectator mode, but not only for you guys, you have to share it with amazing YouTubers who will create amazing videos. Hey guys, Level Cap here. What does bother me is the appalling netcode in the game right now. Everybody should be experiencing this. It can't just be me. Uh, you're going to notice lots of weird issues where you get shot by players where you simply just don't even see them before they shoot you. Or you'll run way behind cover and then all of a sudden you'll get shot through a container or something like that. And you're like, how did that guy shoot me? I was well behind cover. Well, on his screen you weren't and he shot you fair and square from his view. And you're just not in the same position and things are not matching up between client side and server side. So simply put, these netcode client-side server-side discrepancies are unacceptable. They're not going to be something that this game can survive with, and especially a competitive scene of this game. Maybe, maybe some sort of casual element of this game can sort of exist with this horrible netcode, but if you ever have some idea of this game becoming a competitive thing that people are going to watch, uh, the netcode simply has to improve. Yeah. Because there's time. So um, what we did after BF3 was shift, we took a look at the game and said like, okay, what are is the main problems with the game? And then we identified a few things that we needed to take care of and yeah. start. Okay, so how how do we add features that make sense? towards um, you know, fixing those goals that we set for ourselves. Yeah. So that's kind of how we kind of started the process. I mean, how was it at DICE? How crazy must it have been? So what, what typically happens is that when we release a game, okay. we feel really bad about it. <laughs> okay, why because, is that? Because, because there's tons of things that we didn't get time to do. Okay. Larco Gaming asked me, will there be client-side or server-side hit detection? The uh, architecture of the hit detection is the same as it is in BF3, okay. but it's much better now. We've gotten rid of some of the issues that we had in BF3. Okay. Uh, that was one of the points of emphasis, really, when we started the product. We knew that we had some improvement we could do there. Uh, I, I still think it's good in BF3, but it's going to be better in BF4. Three, two, one. What? What? No. <laughs> Three, two, one. What? What? 
All right, there, go for that one right there, whichever one you want. Yeah, you know? Thank you so much for, for playing Battlefield 3, and thank you so much for, for your interest in Battlefield 4. Uh, you mean everything to us, really. I'm, I promise you that. And we do care, we do listen. And uh, I, I'm, I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on Battlefield 4. And now I find myself longing for that Battlefield 3 netcode because the Battlefield 4 netcode is two to three times worse than the Battlefield 3 netcode. And it's just, it's kind of, it's really disappointing to be honest. It's magic. It's magic. It's magic. It's magic. It's magic. 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 Magic.